Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So, um, this video is going to be about my goals for 2022. My painting goals, painting modeling goals, I suppose. Um, yeah. So, uh, I considered doing like a whole pile of shame, but it's just, yeah. I'm not going to get through it this year, or if I set myself the goal, I'll give up 10% way through because it seems insurmountable. Now I think I put way too little on this table, um, but that's a good thing because I am planning on making some deviations. Uh, but this, this, what is on this table, I hope to be 100% done come the, uh, the next year 2023 yikes um right so i guess i'll just go through it and then towards the end i'll explain how i might detour from this plan well, i'll explain a bit of the detour with the fantasy stuff so if you watched my last video um where i basically explained i'm back to making hobby videos um i was uh, making some uh or experiment. They're here, they're now assembled and primed. And a bunch more assembled and primed. Um, that pretty much does it for all my unassembled orcs at the moment. Except for some arrow boys that I don't have bases for. Um, also I have 23 of them painted up already so... I'm uh, not sure I need another 14, but we'll see. I mean, I am going to paint them at some point, obviously. Um, yeah, anyway, rambling. Um, so I sort of divided it into some chunks. Um, some of this is priority goal because I'm doing a 1500 point list where I need both the spear chuckers done, uh, one of the doom divers, uh, my boar uh, chariot, these spearmen, and these hand weapon uh, and shield orcs and a converted black orc BSB that I did heavy armor shield uh, yeah I mean he isn't from the black orc kid and I did uh, kit bash some uh, black orcs that will fit nicely in with uh, my existing black orcs um, yeah so threw a bunch of armor on there, gave them dual hand weapons because I didn't have any great weapons. So my uh, my black orcs are <laughs> ancient level and then sort of the new sculpt but in metal. So they'll be a nice hybrid. I I would like to buy some more uh, of the new plastic black orcs at some point, but. Yeah, uh, I need to paint up some stuff first. There's a couple of other units that can't quite play until I get some uh, some new models, but uh, it's gonna be so difficult. I'm gonna try my best not to buy more stuff, but if a good offer comes up on eBay or Facebook, I'm, I might take it and throw it into the pile of shame. Uh, anyway, um, so a bunch of this stuff actually only needs highlight, basing, rebasing, um, yeah, uh, sort of stuff done. Uh, these wolf riders will be quick. Uh, two uh, regiments of seven, two doom divers. These both just need highlights and basing. I ordered some bases because I don't want this. I want a, a proper base also for my war machines. So that should be arriving soonish, I hope. Who knows when it's eBay. Um, yeah, so I want to do the Black Orcs. Uh, I have another regiment. Or I want to do these dual chopper guys. And then I have some Boar Boys. Some <laughs> really old metal ones. Uh, even a couple of Savage Orc ones in there. Because, you know, you bought blisters back in your teenage years. And you get... You, you didn't get random stuff. But you got what the shops had on the shelves. And this 
us not having any GW stores here. It was just whatever they had in stock. And as a kid, you went in there and you wanted to walk out with something. So, yeah, I might I might buy some Savage Orc Boar Boys at some point just to make that playable. But for now, they're going to be proxied as Boar Boys with the rest of them. And I have some of the new ones as well. The kit bashed one. Yeah, anyway, those are the Orcs. There are plenty of goblins. At least three unpainted regiments of 20 left mixed goblins maybe four actually there's a bunch of snotlings there's another war machine uh what else can i see over there in the cabinet um there's a four goblin spider riders there's also some squakes that i can't play because i don't have enough might also fill those out and finish this first then i might move on to it speaking of moving on i think i'll <laughs> stop talking about this because I could talk about this all day uh, there's quite a bit more in the cabinet but if I get this done and and I'm definitely gonna get a couple of goblin units done but I'm not gonna hold myself to it so yeah uh, those will be bonus units and I'll do like a year in review if I keep making videos where I show what I got painted anyway so uh, the setup is, is is back to the chair here with a lamp on top, so I'm just gonna scoot it over. Sorry for that. Um, yeah, so this is the rest of my world eaters that is still unpainted or not finished painted. Um, I don't know when I'll use these guys, but I want to wrap them up. I want to put a tie and ice bow on it. I want to be done with it. Just in the cabinet and if I someday want to play Chaos Space Marines I got what is it three or four thousand points painted so that's gonna be brilliant so as I mentioned in the other video there's uh, some Terminators there's some bunch of Possessed um, there is there are English there's some uh, Berserkers a couple of champions a random Bolter dude a spawn it's actually a virtual fantasy spawn but I don't know just me being random when I started this army um, some raptors and a rhino that I got from a friend who didn't want it back so I'm painting it because <laughs> you know transports you can always use that um, there is technically one other model and it is a old old uh, bloodthirster uh, in metal um, I want to do that as well but I'm not gonna hold myself to it this year also yeah I haven't played 40k in a little bit the last book I had you could still take demons quite easily now it's now you can't summon them and stuff and you have to ally which is fine I mean but I'm not gonna go get a codex just for the couple of demon units I have. Um, I might try and wrap up one of these projects soonish after the 1500 points of uh, fantasy orcs just so I can do like an army showcase then you guys will know what I talk about. I can talk about the backstory of how it started and whatnot if that's of interest to anyone. I'll scoot it over some more sorry for the wobbly transition all right, so what we got here is, like I said, I finished all my orcs and I treated myself. Um, so I treated myself to some Forge World. I got the Squigoth. I got the Super Cannon, which is no longer a standalone unit, but I can throw it on my battle wagon. So I'm going to magnetize it to there. It is still unbuilt. And uh, then before it went out of production for my for Forge World, I got a uh, Mech Boss God. He's not very good, but I'm kind of say I'm a completionist, but definitely not for all the big stuff, but the small stuff. And uh, a while ago, I decided that my orcs are Goths, and Boss God serves a Goth war boss, so in the army with him. <laughs> um, yeah. So I need to finish that. Um, 
so I also had some playable units of both looters and burners but they are minimal units and you know as soon as they take a couple of shots they're gonna be out of the fight or ineffective so I had some boy bits um, around and I bought another set because they're the same kit so yeah basically gonna bulk out the units then I also decided I wanted a mech gun I'm gonna sort of magnetize so it can be all of the different versions right uh, so those are the oh actually I also got some squeak hog boys as a surpri surprise Christmas present from my girlfriend did not expect that I didn't even know she knew what it was <laughs> or that it was new so I'm gonna build those and paint those up obviously <laughs> Um, then I have some painted stuff here, um, and, oh, Games Workshop, how you annoy me, um, how they make things obsolete and especially, especially taking away weapon options. Uh, for instance, my Stormboy knob has a big chopper, because in, for several editions I didn't want to pay for the power claw on every single squad I had I, I felt the uh, added strength also did something and keep the unit cost down you can't have that anymore because surprise it does not come in the kit because that's their new thing um, I need to convert a tank buster knob who has a rocket launcher so I snipped off some bits and You'll have that. Uh, it's actually from a killer can or death dread. I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out. It was previously on a boy. This guy, he's gonna be reassigned to something else. <sighs> and the knob with banner. He has to have a custom shooter, which is fine. I love custom shooters. In fact, I have three of them right here. But lo and behold, Games Workshop decided that knobs can't have that except for that guy and they're all in the right hand they came with a knob kid they're metal but they cannot play now so I'm gonna tear them apart and I'm gonna have some custom shooters left over and I don't know what I'm using for sigh yeah and also I have I might I might keep this guy you can't have dual power claws anymore but I love this guy. Um, I might just proxy him as, or not WYSIWYG him as Power Claw uh, Slugger. And just, uh, it's just a flavor thing. Uh, now there's also the other thing that base sizes have changed. But So for all of my world leaders, I actually upgraded all their bases because all of them except for maybe two new squads or on 25 mil bases so they're upgraded to 32 mil bases now I also need to do this for the entire orc army except for those guys obviously um, and also my six ish thousand points of imperial fists also need to be upgraded so uh, that's a lot of base adapters and repainting of bases that I need to do Fortunately, I kept my basing simple, so that's the thing. Oh yeah, also war tracks don't work anymore, so I need to do a spinning blade for this death copter, which I also did some conversions for because they had other we weapon options and whatnot before this edition, so there's actually a couple more I need to look at. But yeah, I need to convert the war track to something else, maybe to one of the buggies or something. I mean, it is... It is terrible, and it's tiny, and it's Gorkamorka age, the original Gorkamorka, but why should I not play with it? I mean, like I said, I'm a completionist. Just because there's new kids doesn't mean you have to throw away or retire your old stuff. Not I, I try to paint it so that it works together in the same style anyway. Alright, let's move on to the last bit. So... Sorry for the transition. So here's some more Imperial Fists. Well, technically some Black Templars, but I might address that in 
the army showcase at some point. Now there are, mm, I'd say, between 15 and 20 models that are not on this table, that are unpainted. But those are completely unplayable at this point. Like I made a 10-man honor guard squad and spent a lot of time converting them and making them awesome with relic weapons and bolters and yeah, all kinds of stuff on them. <sighs> Dear Games Workshop, they're not playable. Thank you for that. Thank you for rewarding hobby time. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, also boarding shields are not playable anymore either. So, well, he's gonna paint up the last one I have for the squad. Um, yeah, I'm gonna paint up this stuff and then technically there's two vehicles and some Vanguard veterans, the old metal ones. Um, but I'm not gonna hold myself to those right now because I don't feel for it. This is basically a, most of the stuff that are in progress and like a night or two would would finish this up. So I'm gonna do that. Um, just to just... So there's less unfinished stuff in there. Right, okay, 16 minutes, that's a lot of time. <laughs> Good. Um, next up, the things that might change. So I have a feeling that what I'll finish last is this, probably, or, well, if you aren't watching, it's the Imperial Fists, because, I don't see them being used and I need to do base upgrades and also I might just finish it in a night because I feel like it I don't know or the world eaters I might also not finish those but there are some like I said there's a bunch of fantasy stuff um, specifically yeah a lot of the goblins and the, and the stuff that I mentioned that is unfinished that it there's actually a lot of it with base code on so it would be quick to finish, but it would just be bonus units, I guess. Um, then there's also Bretonians. Um, like I said in the previous video, I kind of want to repaint that. Also, there's 10, 15-ish new models for that army. Maybe 20, when I think about it. Um, but I kind of don't want to paint it up in the old style, just to match the army. For then having to repaint it. Now I am really motivated to to take care of that army, but it is playable. I don't want to mess with it right now. So I might paint up the new stuff in, in in the new style, and then have it mismatch a little bit, and then slowly transition it. Um, but it, there is a good risk that I will start uh, start that project. There's also. Another risk of me detouring is with me buying new stuff. Like I said, I will try my best not to. It's going to be for a couple of reasons. It's going to be because I see some men at arms being sold. <laughs> that that will that will be a thing that I would definitely buy. Or Battle Pilgrims for my Bretonians, both of those. Uh, or it will be to complete things that can't play. Like I said, I have some Savage Orc, actually both on foot and Boar Boys. So I might pick up a kit of those. Like I said, I have some squick hoppers. I might do those. Uh, there's a few Bretonian things like squires or mounted yeomen. I might do if they show up because I want to add them to the playable list. Um, the, the other Bretonian stuff I got is mostly just more of the same-ish. Um, so it's not going to add that much new. But yeah, I hope those will be my only detours, but you never know what's going to be released or, um, you know, might pick up a game. I very strongly consider picking up the new Hero Quest when it comes out. So yeah, there's a danger of that happening. Might as well admit to that. Also hope to do a bunch of terrain, but again, I'm not going to hold myself to it. I will put in the caveat, though, that if... We start doing battle reports. I'm definitely gonna paint up terrain, um, so I'll slide that in there. Um, that will be a requirement if if we do battle reports, because I want it to look nice. If you have painted models and a and a table, 
um, then you might as well put some nice terrain on the table. Right. I think I'll call it for this video. Um, I might do a pile of shame video. I might not. I haven't decided. But this this is what I'll I'll focus on. Let me see if I can pan the camera ish, so you can get a sense of my project for the year. So it's not quite a full table, but I have a feeling when we do the reveal at the end of the or the start of the new year that it will be a full table. Oh yeah. In case I start playing Song of Ice and Fire again, there is also a chance I'll paint some of that up. But I don't see it happening as it is right now, but you never know. Um, I'm definitely not happy with the stuff I have painted and I have ideas of how to fix it. And yeah, and I could definitely do some of it very quickly, but I'll stick to this <laughs> and hopefully way more. This is, should be the minimum, I hope. All right. Thanks, guys. I um, hope you got inspired by hearing my goals. And uh, I don't know. I'm not going to bait comments and stuff. But um, it's kind of motivating to see what other people are working on. So if you want to share um, your goals, just feel free to add them in the comments. And... When you see the next video a year from now, or not the next video, hopefully, the video a year from now, you can you can comment if you've met your goal there, <laughs> I suppose. Anyway, enough enough waffling. Uh, take care, guys. I'll see you around. Bye.